comes the axe. Prove yourself! Uh, Slada also not the most helpful here in this situation. Kinda walk in for a crush, but... Might just as well be turned on like this, yes, eh? Finishing out the very easy first blood on the enchantress. Usually when he gets spiders up, the lane gets unbearable. But Deke is actually sides. hero. Special cat gonna get going on a missile burst strike, but they should still be able to wreck him down. Maybe not though with heals going. It's gonna take oh. them a while at the same time. There was a dive going on in the middle lane. F and G making rotation there to get the counter kill. <laughs> so the one said he has to walk back home himself. So there's a bit of an engagement in mid. Trying to burst on Witch Talking. Does get the cask off. Now G double crush there from victim set up for that kill, and it does. In the one for one trade. Nice little double burst strike though. Once again, two supports and teams bit. Looking to turn it into more, but a double crush from Bignum. Gonna slow that down despite the cold feed. Another stun there from the Wraith King. Setting Ooh, up for G. Who really wants a kill. The urn charge coming through, denying himself to creeps. Will not be successful. <laughs> FNG though. Okay, middle lane. G. He's actually in trouble there. <clears throat> Vensco trying to run him down with a burst strike, but the supports are available. Try and help out. G. No more Maldetics. So. Dikifobos will not want to commit many more nets here to chase him under the tier 2. He's just completely taken over this part of the map <laughs> right now at the same time. Oh yeah. yeah really, uh, this brute week really made it tough for them. Dragon Eye may be easy, gets burst struck, you have to be slowed down. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of damage if you can channel that, even the level 1 from Life Train. So G back up to full health and also a decent amount of mana. Meanwhile, up on uh, the top lane. Team Spirit, uh, they have the A, Sanking, and Pugna, like, they have so much damage for a DK. It's not a good DK game whatsoever. Sort of going decently well for Gambit still, you could say. As, uh, as I say, that OG has been going on. He crept TP, Darkseid is there, or Dark is there. Ooh, to interrupt it, so that's a good kill. Four heroes committed into this lane, but now he found himself in the soon. Could be a big burst strike on more than one hero. And uh, DK4 was a nice little spider army to turn us around, pick them. That is one round, two rounds. Ice Blast on top. He should end up falling dark. Turn up the fight. He does some stick charges to make sure that he Fires. can come back, but he doesn't pop it. He just dies first. Two for one trade at the end of the day. As there's another burst strike here. Dragonite will be, uh, will be stopped once again with a cold feet. And it's going to take them a while to just straight up right click him down. He needs some more burst. Beaver setting up for another burst strike here in the back lines. And that should be enough, even with Bignum coming back. And Cheshire once again. This time G is joining up with Illidan to make that happen, but this time the heals oh, are just enough back with the stun, yeah, Illidan does have another time walk available now, Bailey gets out with the burst strike also coming through to finish up the kill on Cheshire Cat, cast bouncing only once, but now forcing on to G with the death ward on the wrong side, he does have the crap fight still though, he's absolutely fine, another burst strike with another light click bash, they do end up losing G to the Maledict, they do end up losing G to the Maledict, this Biver also gets tracked down by Bignum with the crush here, Illidan, I'm walking across, both of them should be fine in the end. As I say that though, the stun coming through, follow from Bigman, not quite there. Does have the burst strike again from his teammate to prevent another crush. Fiber, yeah, he's, he gave his life for the cause, yeah. His life for his character. In the smoke for my FNG, this on the high, high ground. Finds the crush, but there's the ice blast on one and two, BZZ. There's next on the list here, it's gonna take them a while to chew through his armor still. And Ice Blast to will expire. There's another burst strike though. They do get rid of the spider links. One more brief fight. If you just straight up rush Radiance, there's a pretty good chance that you'll have lost the game before it can actually uh, do something about it. But there's yeah, the Ice Blast once again. They focus on the Cheshire Cat bursting down immediately with the percent as well. But the Crush controlling out the pack. Now here G might end up dropping once again. Okay, he does get burnt down regardless here. As uh, in the back lines, BZ playing up against the spider, but the Chronosphere. On uh, Dahak, as well as the rest of his own team, Illidan will still be able to secure these kills. Dark's coming right back, FNG should end up dropping, but so does the Dragonite here as Big Mother, with the help of his teammates, finally be able to press them down, and now it's just a slaughter at this point. Blade Mail, not gonna stop that by any means at this point. With a blink burst strike here, Witch Doctor, and he's so dead. 